Alright guys, Mr. Calimesh here doing a review of another helmet, this time of the Cascade CPXR. So first I'll just show you what it looks like. Um, so yep, and this helmet is the only other helmet besides the Pro 7 F7 technology. So they're like little, little circles in there you can see um, when you get hit. They uh, compress and they distribute the force into the middle of the head, into the middle of the helmet where the padding is more, and then it kind of gets absorbed into that. So it doesn't just absorb the hit, it moves it to a better place. Um, and the helmet, it fits really nicely. I mean, like, you can adjust it straight on the fly. Um, it's got a really good, nice natural tilt which you look right out of here or here, depending on how you play, um, like your playing style, I guess. Um, covers really low. Um, it just fits really nicely on your head. It feels like it's leaning forward naturally like this. It's really uncomfortable, um, and they wanted to get rid of the second bar syndrome. That's what I call it, second bar syndrome, because you look like you're weird. Anyway, um, they wanted to get rid of that because that is really unsafe. So, if it naturally tilts on your head, it's going to go like that. Um, and the hand crank is really easy to use. If like if you have an IQ greater than 6, you'll know how to use it. Um, overall, just a solid home. This, a lot of people are wondering what the spoiler does. They call it a spoiler. Um, and actually, it counterbalances the weight. It adds extra weight on the back. So, it's not like completely tilting forward like that, but it's like kind of balanced like that. Um, this is the chrome face mask, so it's a steel chrome face mask, um, which is nice. I think if you're going to get a CPXR, you should get the chrome face mask at least. Um, my second CPXR is the Syracuse one. So, I mean, it's the same helmet, same natural tilt, um, but the only difference on this helmet is it has the titanium face mask, um, which is $100 more um, if you want the gold titanium it's a hundred and I think a hundred and ten dollars more. Um, personally, I really like the titanium, so I think this is this is the deal. If you're like if you're a freshman in high school and you're gonna buy a helmet for all four years of high school, I recommend getting the titanium. It makes the helmet so much lighter, and it, this is the face mask is actually stronger and it doesn't rust. Um, that one rusts after a while. Um, but it's still a great helmet either way. And then, I mean, if you're just going to be buying a helmet for a year or two years, I'd recommend just getting the chrome face mask. It's not worth the $300 for the titanium. Um, but overall, it's an awesome helmet. Um, even if you don't get the titanium face mask, this is still very light. It's just a, It's a lot heavier compared to that one, but it's still light, um, if you know what I mean. Um, but, I mean, the protection is great, um, fits a lot snugger to your head, which is good, and it's just an overall fantastic helmet. I actually like the CPX more than the Pro 7s, um, so, but, um, I also have a question um, for you guys, you can leave it in the comments, why, so the CPXR is the new helmet from Cascade, and it's the one that's better selling. That's why they came out with the matte CPXR, not the matte Pro 7. But why um, is the why is the Pro 7 still more than the CPXR? I didn't really understand that. I thought the CPXR had more technology with the hand crank. Plus they have like titanium face masks and stuff. Um, I was wondering why the Pro 7 is 224 and the CPXR is 200 or something. Um, but yep, that's about it. And thanks for watching, guys.